What's up you guys, welcome back to Wide Body Nation. I've got the truck and the trailer behind me right now. We are gonna be doing a race trailer slash kind of comfortable, we're not gonna call it a living trailer, conversion to the front. So this trailer is a 26 foot cargo trailer, obviously enclosed. I believe the V on the front is a two inch V. So it's got plenty of room for the vet or for the Subaru or you know, whatever it may be. You know, I got a good um, tongue on here stand all that and it's missing a, quite a few things you know i need to do a bar lock for the side i need to do some stuff to the front and the rear but i just wanted to get you guys introduced to the trailer because we're going to do a full conversion series on it so this is the intro video make sure you guys are subscribed and like the video for more trailer content we also have a lot of truck content coming we are actually doing the headlights on this truck because it came with the really crappy ram halogen headlights because it's a tradesman with a bunch of towing features on it back to the trailer though so you know ac generator shelving uh insulation so i actually started peeling back the trailer walls you know i got the plywood on here i think it's quarter inch plywood maybe a little thicker uh we're gonna probably do this r5 insulation i'm just kind of playing around obviously just seeing how it fit gotta insulate the roof as well as far as flooring goes because i do think we need to reinforce the floors I'm not necessarily too keen on just plywood so I went a little aggressive and did these one and a quarter inch thick by six wide by eight foot long boards and cut them down and uh, let me tell you this door is heavy so I'll have I'll have videos on flooring on insulation on walls shelving a bunch of other stuff obviously there's a lot to do with the trailer on air conditioning units are we gonna go top mount or are we gonna go standalone? There's plenty to do. Uh, obviously, I've already started experimenting with flooring as well. We've got this nice industrial style, thick puzzle piece flooring because, you know, I needed to make it stupid simple for myself, I'm not trying to do anything too crazy. Got all the tools here, obviously trying to stay hydrated as well. But yeah, I mean, is it the nicest trailer ever? No, but it is fun to convert it to uh, exactly how we want, you know? So we'll have a nice livable storage area up here. We'll have an area for the cars and whatever, you know, side by side or, you know, a go-kart, a golf cart, whatever it may be. Um, the door is already considerably heavier. It kind of looks like a deck now at this point. I did, I do feel like I did a pretty good job on it. The lines are pretty straight there, pretty straight about seven and a half feet wide, roughly speaking. All the kind of wood shavings are over there. We do have enough wood to do the rest of the trailer that is going to be the car supporting portion because I just, I just didn't feel too confident about plywood and, you know, three, 4,000 pound cars in one spot. I don't know, maybe that's just me. But like I said, we're gonna go ahead and do lighting, do roofing gonna either paint the wall I don't know quite yet but that's kind of why I want to introduce you guys to the trailer just because it's obviously you know it's a multi-day project it is a multi-week project it's always gonna be improving um, but like I said 26 foot cargo trailer good starting point but obviously we can do a lot to it for security for livability and for just general ease of use because we have already put about 2,000 miles on this cargo trailer. Uh, so it's already, you know, already paying for itself, already, you know, going to work. We've got about 4,000 miles on the Ram so far. I've only had it for about a month and it has 3,000 of those miles are towing this trailer or a trailer like it. So yes, I got a dually. Yes, I went pretty aggressive, but like, I mean, you can see we got, you know, 50 pieces of lumber in an eight foot bed. And oh, by the way, eight foot beds are perfect for eight foot pieces of lumber so truck is already doing all of the work for us we just got to make it safer by doing the headlights and some other little things to it other than that folks it's pretty much it for the intro video don't want to take too much of your time make sure you're subscribed and uh, comment down below what your experience with trailers are did you just straight up buy a race trailer you know pony up the 20 30 40k for a race trailer or did you do more of a cargo trailer conversion? Do you like open trailers better? Um, I can see can see the sales pitch for an open trailer because it's so easy to tie down the car. I mean, it's just 
drive it on up there and then zip zip open it right up or it's open and then you're just putting some ratchet straps on and you're good to go so i do see that i just like the enclosed part of the trailer the safety the security because my charger was stolen my charger hellcat red eye was stolen back in dallas in april so i'm kind of on on the uh you know on guard about that so appreciate you guys tuning in make sure you check out the links down below for all the added value you know you got weeble for stock training at m1 finance um you know free stocks or you get a monetary sign up bonus also make sure you guys get your your merch down below i'll let you be the judge of that merch people are hot and cold on it but we'll talk about that later appreciate you guys tuning in and i will see you for the next video so with this being a multi-part build series there's obviously going to be a lot of things that i'm adding to it between the ac unit the flooring even the wood everything that i use so i will continue to update the descriptions even of these early episodes i can't update the video but i can update the description so if you're watching this months or years from now the description should be current with the ac unit or units that i've used with the flooring with the liners with the you know with the foam insulation all that so just because this is only really talking about the flooring doesn't mean that you can't find everything down below in the description and the pin comment should have the most pertinent stuff to this video so this video it'll mainly be lumber and some insulation stuff but just wanted to make sure you guys are taken care of even if you're watching this you know months or years uh in the future so